Good morning everyone, welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're continuing our campaign or our playthrough through <laughs> Titus Quest. I don't know why I like that saying that so much, but somehow I do. Yeah. These guys are really annoying. I think because they're slightly more ethereal than the normal monsters. I think with the mage here, we wouldn't have any problems. I'm not sure poison works or bleeding, I'm, but I'm guessing that the resistance to physical damage is what's the problem here. Which really makes me think, like, what will I do in the future? Because this is going to be a constant problem if I'm not thinking about the damage. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. It's a much better axe. So th this is what they hit me with. Yeah, skeletons we can hit a lot top. A lot harder so I'm guessing that that's what it is with with those enemies like they have a resistance Great bow of destruction and simple sash of recovery. Okay, nothing that I want necessarily, but you can't hold anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna go home for now. The city should be fairly close. We'll see. If I see that there's more loot and we can't reach anything for now. Then I am going to go home. Hmm. You can see there is some sort of a vendor up there. I'm not sure if there's anything in this cave, but we're gonna explore it. fits with the with the whole theme here now let's see where are we at far as character let's start with the character we're at level eight i think we've just unlocked a new class i thought that was at level nine but i guess not essence of ages of athena okay so that's for shields over here one more point in dexterity maybe I guess I will need a few more points. So we're gonna throw this sword in. It's 38, look at that, from 28 to 38 because yeah, we're getting some of the poison. What else do we have here? Strength 122, so we need a bit more strength during for next level, so I guess we're gonna go this way. Okay, and now on classes, we can select a new master. Well let's Take a look at what runes would be. By the way, you get three points for every level, whether you invested in this or in this. It's really up to you. But you don't get three points for both of them. But you get plenty of levels. So you don't really have to worry about how will you spend everything. It's not perfect, you won't be buying everything. Let's see, rune weapon. In the rush of glorious battle, every strike you land pushes your mind further into an ecstatic st state, increasing the force of all magical abilities. So, one charge level, three elemental damage, three percent to elemental damage, three percent to total damage, and ten percent intelligence. Hmm. The basic engraving reduces the weight of a weapon. Okay, so thirty offensive ability and minus fourteen strength requirement for all weapons. I think I would have a further reduction in dexterity because strength we will need for armor. Rune of life, cast the rune of life on yourself or allies to protect against dark magic and increase stamina. 
that would mean it's an ability that will provide us with more strength, more movement, more bleeding resistance and vitality damage resistance. Okay, well what's next? Runic Mines, Thunder Strike, an arcane weapon technique that channels the power of thunder, hitting multiple enemies with staggering force. Okay, so we are getting some elemental. Sacred Rage. Remains active if health remains low. Okay, active when health drops below 40%. 20 damage absorption, some energy regeneration, total speed, less recharge, and slow resistance. Magical charge, it would. The power building up as you fight ignites your ruined weapons with elemental magic and strikes out anyone who touches it. 6 elemental damage and 12 elemental retaliation. Okay. Um, you know what? I think this one might fit slightly better with a mage class. But since I've never played it, we're gonna mix defense and rune mastery. We're going this way. You can see that the rune weapon, you assign this to your left mouse button. The reason why is because... It costs one energy, and there are plenty of abilities like this that cost one energy, and it's something that you keep casting, right? You get to get these buffs. And let's also go for Rune Word Feather. We'll do this, right? Reduce the strength requirement for weapons. And actually, I think that could work as well. But let's see, Rune Weapon over here. What class are we considered? Now, the runesmith. So you get runesmith by mixing defense and rune mastery. Okay, let's take a look at the requirements. Yeah, we don't have anything else that would be worth looking at. Well, with that in mind, let's see how we deal with the enemies now. It's not a huge difference for now, like we're, we still need to level this up a few levels to get that extra elemental damage. Shrine of Thorns. Shrine of Thorns, what it does is basically when enemies attack you, you reflect some of that damage back. You can see that we're getting a good experience by just defeating enemies. It's, it's not so much the... I guess it is the level of the enemy or the... how powerful it is too, but... It's more about grinding, cleaning up the maps. That will provide you with the most experience. So, you want to get into this. And into, into the game and explore the map. And you will find like special vendors here and there, like hidden vendors in different areas which you wouldn't find otherwise if you're not exploring but there is a certain incentive to exploring the map plus you also get these kinds of charms you will get recipes there's always a chance to drop something that is really good really useful You have no more room. And that is okay. I have no more room. There was nothing special in this cave. Let's go up and around and we need to get... Uh, we're, we're gonna reach a town now or, or a little village actually. And we're still far away from Delphi. I think that is one of those things that I found 
the weird is the first time I played it. Like, how long the trip to Delphi Your is. Your inventory is full. It really gives you that impression of a great journey. Oh, we're close to Megara. You again. Me again, yes. Let's sell you some of this stuff. I guess I will keep this in. Not sure, but we'll we'll see afterwards when we get the right level. Goodbye. Sturdy in both leggings, it's better only on the armor, but it uh, doesn't have the movement speed or the elemental resistance, so we're not going to replace it for a while. I'll leave the turtles alone because they take a lot of damage. If I can. I might have to kill them. Let's see. Oh, purple shell. Maybe I forgot that they give that. Oh, but their bite. Their bite is terrible. I'd rather have them shoot at the distance. Yeah, let's leave them behind. Let's keep going forward. Yeah, see? So this is the type of thing that I like to see. Our chest Finally, we can throw this in. Uh, let's see. Look, so we have these two. You right-click. And I guess when you're not in the storage, you right-click on one of these. You put it together and now it's even a better charm. But it's only when you fully complete one of these charms is that you get the full effects. At some point, you'll be getting like more inventory space here. Storage for the burden traveler. Yes. And we we'll leave these as they are, and we'll sell the rest. Your goods are safe with We've got me. Trabucks. Every part. Okay, we have skeleton raiders. What else do you? Truth do? is. I'd have returned to the beach. News of a shipwreck that we need to find. Okay. Welcome, welcome. A fine warrior like yourself. I'm sure I've got just what you're looking for. <laughs> a good salesman. What can I say? Mm. No, I don't see anything for right now that would be better for us but I will buy some health potions just to make sure we have enough satisfaction guaranteed sword and shield not your style yes a good day so Leonidas sent you Zeus protect us all and speed you speak with your to him on Megara we spoke to him and now we travel to Delphi we continue our journey there everyone's talking about the un yes I found out with okay Let's get this. We need two things to do. We need to find a another seaside a, or a beach or something like that to look for the shipwreck. Then we need to look for the tools of, I think it was like three skeleton kings or something. Okay, 
let's take this one at a time if we can. Break the ones that are easily breakable. And then we'll take care of the zombies. care of this mage <laughs> and they're accompanied by this assassin characters pretty fun too I mean getting a hunter you'll have most of the skills like you will have skills picking the clan the hunter class will provide you with skills for both bows and spears so it's a good combination of having an alternative for close range which is cool in most games you don't get to that kind of a choice like if you're going for bows you have a bow class and you're just gonna use bows mm. let's see I think there is I think this is where we need to get to somehow it's not through here we're gonna have to go like in this direction and maybe then we'll go to the left e yes we'll have to see more pristine plumage more health potions they're going to come in handy this game has a feeling it's closer to the old uh, Diablo uh, as far as you need plenty of health potions and there are plenty of enemies who will present a problem to you you can't just rush through them with no care in the world. Which is cool in its own way. I find that these games are... Like you get somehow more involved in, in the experience, in the entire story. By the time you feel like a superhero or you know the hero of your story, you have worked hard at it. Let's see. This is... Alcyon Coast? Ah, here it is. I'm gonna take a few screenshots in here. Maybe I should fight more than the screenshots, but... I definitely wanted to, to take a few screenshots here because this will be my uh, <laughs> cover. <laughs> this is what I was waiting for. We're gonna have to go back after this. The quest is that we need to do is still in the back.
that's a bit of a stun slowdown that he's doing there. We're gonna use our health potions ASAP, right? You don't want, once again, you don't want to wait until your health is low. You wanna use them when your health is high because it will stay high. It's not instant, none of the potions are instant. So. I not do another skill shot. We don't get to defeat giants, giant cyclops every day. But there we go. Copperine balls, no, I don't care for. Let's see what else is here. Some money. We'll take a look in the inventory in a second. I'll just gather everything. So, here we go. We even unlocked a new inventory space. For the poisonous Cyclops Club of Ability, it's slow. 21 to 36 damage, 36 poison damage over time, and 15 offensive ability. I think it's better, much better. So we're gonna use his weapon for a while. What else? Okay, this is not better. Here we need a bit more strength, but it is better than what we have on us. 15 chance of piercing retaliation. I think I prefer the help there. Yeah, we do need a bit more strength. We need so much stuff. I am going to return because we need to find those kings. And I think the B side is on the other side and we will have to go through. Nobody did this. I, did I get a... <laughs> I got apparently an achievement for de defeating the Cyclops. When did they add achievements? I don't remember for Titan Quest. Maybe I haven't played it in a long while. Oh no, because this is the... It's not that old version, it's the celebratory version. Game... What did they do? Game of the year or... They've done something to it, I pulled it something when they added the Ragnarok expansion. Because I remember getting it on, on a sale. Okay. Mm. See a vendor. There is a vendor somewhere in here. Like, it's not these ones. Look at that. See? When we're going out, we're gonna go south afterwards to see what that vendor is yeah so here is where the quest is let's take care of the bats first we might have to go home to get a few more health potions if we don't find in this sepulchre Virtuous copies, okay. Which is that? This is yeah, not the best armor. Uh, these armors, like you will, you'll find armors that are, they don't seem the best, but these are for your ranged units, or those that don't invest in strength, right? It's giving you an alternative. Virtuous copies, fast. 14 to 19, some chance of reduction to enemy health, skill disruption, dexterity and offensive abilities. Hmm, not as good. Hand of Licardus. You have no We're getting pretty much the same stuff over and over again. Which is weird. 
Now let's return home or home, like to this village in Magara. All the Lucys. What can I do for you? Mm, you can buy some of the stuff I found. And we'll keep this for later. The copies, I will not use that one, I, that is for sure. Don't even think that I will use this one, to be honest. Our damage is a lot better now. It's a very fast sword, though. We shall take a look at it later. I'll keep it for now. More fire resistance, intelligence, lightning resistance, sure. I mean, it's 17 against 7. Looking pretty good for now. And I would say that that's pretty much all that we want from the town. Farewell! Uh, let's see, storage. Greetings! And we'll throw this stuff in here. Safe travels. And now let's go back to Magar, to the tomb here. Hand of Lacargus. At least we should catch a pretty penny out of it. Oracle's legging. Like are tombs known for getting this type of stuff? Oh, and this is part of a set. 30 armor, 11 pierce resistance, lightning damage, energy regeneration, and movement speed. Unfortunately, we don't do lightning damage. That is... Oh, and it's for mages. It's a 116 intelligence. We're not close to that. So this is for a spell spellcaster. But we're gonna throw it into the storage. There's... There is a tab in the storage room that is for common. Basically, you can share it between your characters. So keep items that you like and start new characters. It has, in a sense, that... That feeling that you find also in Path of Exile. You'll find a certain item and it, it's just going to create a build for you. You can... you'll be able to do whatever you had in mind to do. Life Eaters. These, for me, are the most annoying ones. Because... If you don't have enough damage here... Actually, let me get away from the trap. If you don't have enough damage here, they'll keep eating your life. If you can't stun them, if you can't do anything like that, You'll see he's gonna do another life. No, he didn't this time, but there is a monster later on that we will have to fight. It's a side quest, not a main quest, but there is like a semi-boss unit. Okay, let's take care of the Prince of Storm here. And there is a boss unit that it's one of those blood suckers, so he's very dif difficult to defeat because, as I said, if you can't stun him, if you can't do uh, enough damage, you just won't be able to kill him beco before he takes care of you. health potions because I'm running out at this point. What does this hammer look like? Okay. Destroying traps can be good, like there is a charm that you only get from traps. I guess it's not only traps, I think also golems drop them when you get to fight golems.
Essence of Archimedes Mirror. And if you look at the enemies, the ones that we just fought, they're not that strong. They're strong in packs, and they are strong when they have one of those leaders that throws an aura around. And it's the only time that they're really strong. Ah, Ratman. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take care of the mage first. I'll go after the ranger in a second, that unique, but I want to take away these magic abilities and the poison first. He's slowing me down. Oh no, there's another mage behind us or something. Getting an aura from him as well. This guy is more defensible than I thought he would be. Like he's more defensible than the than his brothers. I think he's more defensible than the melee guy. Or maybe no, it's you know what? I'm doing poison damage, that was what was happening, man. He probably has some resistances to poison, even his aura of poison and stuff like that. There we go. Skeleton Raiders is done. take a look through all of these we got a new level up okay. you can't hold anymore we can't hold anymore already well let's try to rearrange it maybe we can make a bit of space and we will need some strength, but let's first of all throw our points in here. Okay, I think I want to go... Do I go the maximum level here? Let's recharge time, shield block chance. This is a focus, that could be good. Shield charge I don't really care for. Thunder strike. Sacred Rage could be good. Magical Charge. Yeah, so these two I will want. If I invest the maximum points now, then I will be able to pick this during the next level. And I feel like that's, that's probably the best way to do it. Now let's see. 28 armor. Yeah, this is not better. 32 armor might be better at some point. Hundred and twenty-two strength we need here. I am going to invest strength in that direction just to get Elot's rage. Okay, I think I am good. Not gonna pick any other items, we're just gonna go for the gold and the health bars, unless there's a really cool item going on, but I doubt that will no be the case.
Well, all in all, I think, yeah, this is all the time that we have for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I thank you very much for watching. Now, if you have any thoughts on the game, do leave them down in the comments below. As I said, even while I'm on holiday, I will be taking some time early in the morning, or maybe sometimes late in the afternoon, but most likely early in the morning, to give some responses to, to you guys. So, with that in mind, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.